Right, we're back at the photography show 2014 at Birmingham NEC and we're here with Andrew from Drone Flight. How are you doing, Andrew? Oh, very well, John. Very now, you've well. got the most, the most eye-catching oh, yeah. stand I've yeah. seen because... Yeah. We, we've got the toys. I'm just looking over it down here. Yeah. Look at this thing. This is every 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 little boy's uh, dream helicopter, isn't oh, it? It is. I mean, at the end of the day, this is this is the sort of you know, it's a real guy's gadget, really. It really uh, is. It works. You know, <laughs> you know, marry it with a camera, and you know, we just we just love them, don't we? Well, now I'm assuming that, that this one being as uh, this is what eight rotors. First, uh, this is six, six rotors. rotors. Yeah, yeah, six rotors. And I'm just looking at the camera underneath. So this is this is designed to carry what? This is designed to carry a GH3 with this particular uh, particular lens, uh -huh. and basically it provides. Oh, that you particular with... lens as well, right? Yeah. Oh wow, look at this! Look at that! Yeah, I mean this thing will go 100, you know, 360 degrees round, and people typically set this up with a pilot and a cameraman using separate controls. Right. So this is this is a. a, a... A real professional filming tool. Yeah, this yeah. is for people that are making TV shows, oh, yeah. uh, or maybe maybe professionally shooting locations. Are they? Yeah. I mean, I mean, what do people use these things for? Well, this this particular one. Uh, if you look, if you search on the internet, you look at BBC News. You'll find this is the one that they've been filming their news clips with. So oh right, that's okay. Basically, it. So right. it's 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 used quite seriously. Right. Yeah. Well, it must be. I mean, if the BBC can use it, are they allowed to fly it over people? Well, you're not allowed to fly over people unless they're under your control. Um, well, the so people or the helicopter? The, pe the people, <laughs> actually. I mean, basically, you uh, you need to be a qualified pilot to do it commercially. Ah. And to fly over people who uh, you actually have to you have to have those people under your control so that they know they're briefed, they understand what the problems are or potential problems are, All right. so they can actually get out of the way and it can be done safely. So they won't. So the BBC won't be flying these over crowds in, no. in no, no, no. central London or anything well, like that. Well, in actual fact, nobody should be. Flying Flying them over crowds. <laughs> right, right, okay. And you actually need a qualification to, to use these commercially? For commercially, yeah. Wow, I didn't yeah. know that. Okay. So that's a big one. Yeah. Right? I'm seeing a big one. And there's another one behind me. Is this is this bigger oh, yeah, or smaller? Yeah. This is this is actually bigger. Is it? Because it's only yeah. got four rotors. It's only got four rotors, but this one's particularly interesting because it's uh, it's got a very, very large payload capacity. It will carry eight kilograms. Right. And also it will fly for sixty minutes with a smaller payload on. So say a two kilogram payload. 60 minutes, that's 60 a long time, minutes, isn't it? It's a long time. Wow, so how long would this other one over here fly for? Uh, 10, 15 minutes, you know, it's not, it's it's not pretty fun. good. It's still pretty good. Yeah. And I think I saw that these things can actually do uh, like waypoints, they can fly yeah. a route that is pre-programmed. You can do a pre-programmed route, but uh -huh. typically people who are doing this for aerial photography aren't, yeah. aren't really interested in a pre-programmed route because right. It's very difficult to create that, that sort of fluid filming uh, to actually do that with, with waypoints because you need uh, lots of waypoints and lots of control. And actually, it's just easier with the sticks. So a skilled operator is going to get better results yeah, yeah. for a moving shot. But people use the waypointing system to do things like surveys of fields or surveys uh, of industrial sites with thermographic cameras. OK, so it's not just for, for filming or for photography purposes. And I think you've got smaller ones as well, haven't oh, you? Oh, yes. Let's yeah, see if we, we can do. push some of these guys out of the way. Okay. Excuse us, guys. Do you mind if we just Film past you, is that all right? So we got a couple of smaller ones here. Oh, that one's yeah, packed yeah. down, look. Yeah, I mean, this is great. That, that huge quad that you're looking at there and yeah. this one, they literally fold up like this and fold out. Oh, wow. So they're much more transportable. Uh, the first thing that you looked at actually takes takes about 15 minutes to demount and get into a box. Right. These take seconds. Fantastic. And, yeah. and so these are the sort of things, presumably these smaller ones, are the sort of things that, that normal people might afford. Yeah. I mean, um, I mean, at the very at the end of uh, at the end of the table, there is a Phantom uh, 2 with a Zenmuse gimbal underneath. So you've got this stabilising gimbal which will uh, which will smooth out your footage, and that's about 650 pounds. So wow, it's as cheap as that. Cheap. That's, yeah. that's actually quite affordable. Yeah. And I mean, I'm seeing these these particular uh, 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 drones have got uh, GoPros on them. That's correct. It, yeah. it, they, do they just work with GoPros, or can they can you get other cameras on there? Well, I mean, anything that I mean, GoPros are easy because these are both designed for it. But there are people who've actually mounted things like Nexus on on this one. But yeah. It's actually a very custom job to do that. Oh, okay, I yeah. see. But they are designed for the GoPros. They're really designed for the GoPros. Fantastic. Yeah. So if people were interested in getting hold of one of these, yep. where might they go to do that? They can just go to our website, uh, which is uh, www.droneflight.co.uk, and they can order online. And actually, if anybody buys anything, if they actually want to come and pick the stuff up, we're happy to show them how it works. So. Oh, wonderful. So you've got, a, you've got a place that people can try it out? Yeah, absolutely. Fantastic. Yeah. All right, thank you very much, Andrew. I appreciate Cheers, that. John. Thanks for your time. Yeah, thank you. Bye-bye.
Photo Walkthrough is a free online video show about photography and digital photo editing using Photoshop and Lightroom. Join the Photo Walkthrough community, find all the old shows, and subscribe to the new ones for free at photowalkthrough.com.